Hey, I've had a few people emailing me over the last couple of weeks in regards to damage to their pear and their cherries and from what they've told me it sounds like pear and cherry slug which you'll generally get um, like it's started January now you'll usually get it they'll probably pop up in the for, for southern hemisphere anyway they'll generally pop up about November you'll see them you'll get that damage and then they might continue on if you spray them they'll go but they'll generally come back January February to have a bit of a double cycle so what you can do is make up a mix of lime and water and paint that around the trunks of the trees. An old Greek guy told me about that once. I've never tried it, but apparently it works because they do, the uh, larvae lives in the ground and when they come up and climb up the tree, they can't get over the lime for some reason. So I'll give that a go one day. But this is a tree that's been damaged by pear and cherry slug. Now you can see how the leaves are almost vein-like. They'll brown off because they basically eat the top and bottom layer of the leaf so like if it was a sandwich they're basically eating the bread and leaving the filling and I can show you one here if you can see it see that little brown slug there that's a pear and a cherry slug and off you go so that's basically what will happen so you'll get all this kind of damage the leaves will brown off and come kind of transparent and even just drop off so that's when you need to spray them you can use if you're inclined use commercial sprays carbaryl stuff like that I don't use them myself I try to keep everything organic so you can make up a spray uh, generally a uh, soap spray um, with garlic and things like that will work in it but it can be hard sometimes the best option is just to pick them all off which can be a bit laborious but it can be the way to go. I've heard of people throwing um, pot, um, potash and like um, ash out of their fireplace on them because it dries them out and stuff like that. How well that works, I don't know. I've never done it myself. But if you're getting things like this, that kind of look, that's what it is. Pear and cherry slug. Cool. So I hope that answers some of the questions that people have been um, writing about. Sorry about the wind. It always picks up when I start videoing but yeah that's pear and cherry slug now you'll get it obviously on pears and cherries but they'll go for plum trees and quince trees too if there's not much else about tiny little slugs on there so you can spray the tree try the lime solution which is basically a paste made out of um, lime and water see how that goes I can't guarantee it though apparently it works or um, pick them all off or try and dust the tree down cool so that's what it is this tree is knackered Alright, I'll um, talk to you soon. <laughs>